Why, hello there! My name is Freckress, and welcome back to Let's Play Deponia. I need to go somewhere else, apparently. Because apparently the baby is not here. Wait, what's this antenna? Just I... FYI, this time I'm breaking it off on purpose. True. <laughs> and you well, can't. Course, I mean, I, I'm gonna uh, adjust it <laughs> just a little bit more. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> so, he can only break antenna accidentally. Okay, to the rebel camp. There's all sorts of other doors. I'm gonna talk to this lovely lady up front. Maybe purchase a wear. I probably won't be able to purchase a wear. Hi there. No hello. sandwiches for me. Hell. Was that all? Just hello? What would you like to hear, huh? Welcome to Burrito Rat Paradise. So well, you that'd think be my nice. Sign isn't flashy enough? Nah, not really. What are you selling? Any specials? Have you seen a baby pass Have you through seen here? A, a baby pass through here? I know nothing about missing babies. Nothing. And no one can prove otherwise. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it baby raps. Just, just a minute ago. <laughs> oh, in that case, I really don't know. Oh, I just saw eyes in the tree. <laughs> Maybe that was a squirrel. Secret, secret rebel camp. Are you looking for an assistant? Have you found a male assistant in the meantime? Have you found a male assistant in the meantime? Yeah, but I ate him already. <laughs> He'd be joking, right? Yeah, if you have to explain it, he's not a joke anymore. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're looking for an assistant? So you can read, bravo. Only, only text I'm boxes. I'm looking for a handsome man to work. Under. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I said handsome, didn't I? <laughs> Any special offers today? I've got these burrito wraps for 1.25 zlatis each. If that's not special enough for you, go someplace else where they have flashing signs that say special offer. But you can count on it that their burrito wraps cost a lot more. Flashing signs don't come for <laughs> free, you know. True. Uh, uh, nothing from me right now. A good choice. We got plenty of that. <laughs> plenty of nothing? Um, that's a noose. One, two, three. Three doors. Oh my god. I'm merely saying that I find it inappropriate for you to be selling rope directly next to my practice. I don't know what you're talking about. I stock nothing but high quality products. And with all due respect, your clientele seems to feel the same way. Since the Organon destroyed the facade between our businesses, <laughs> oh, hey, my there's sales my fan. have tripled. I've never had a customer come back with a complaint. Because yeah, they die. <laughs> get it. I just did. <laughs> His face. Editor-in-chief. Barry. If Barry behaves himself, he'll get to type out my biography someday. True. Hmm. <laughs> Barry! There's somebody at the door! I heard it! Chase him off! I need quiet for the cover story! You know, about that idiot who almost got us all killed! <sighs> yeah, I'm right here! I know! Rufus, come in, but please be very quiet, okay? As I knock everything over. Hey, Barry, why so sad? Oh, Rufus, it's terrible. Everyone says you aren't a hero. You're an idiot. They say you brought down the end of the world upon us. Ah, they're just jealous. Nah. They totally swell, and you know it. I don't know what to think anymore. I haven't been able to get a single shot of your heroic deeds. Well, you just aren't as good a photographer as I am. If only I had just one photo as proof of your selflessness. Yeah, that would be great for me. You know what? I'll make you a deal. I'll find the subject for another heroic deed, and you'll get your photo. Agreed? Oh, that would be so great. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Yerk, as in, it would be most yerksome. If I can't find a use for this, <laughs> there's only one single letter in the typecase. And it's mine now. Capital Yerk. 
Isn't this needed? No. Whatever for? There are hardly any words that contain it. And we already reported on the Seder Knuckles in our winter special. Mythological physical extremities. Oh yeah, I think Tony had that issue. Seder Knuckles? For? The cover story like, was about oops? centaurs. Oh yeah, of course, I remember. The future is not yet written, at least not on this piece of paper. Might as well take everything I can. I'll use it later. <laughs> take Barry with me. Just put him in my pocket and we'll just go. <laughs> uh, can I talk to the editor in chief? I better not bother him. He looks grumpy. I better not okay. bother him. No talking to Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> A whole cabinet full of prescription psychotropic drugs. Well, if I can't get Bozo back to his old self with that, then <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Okay, so I need to do this. I have a doctor's referral. <laughs> May I see it? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Please lie down on the couch. Well, you sure don't waste any time. You could at least put on some romantic music. <laughs> Just lie down, okay? I'm not right, gonna right. lie on top of you. Oh. All right, first, I would like you to tell me why you're here. So got this friend. I'm not here just to chat with you. Can't you just write the prescription? Ah. I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're expecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm. How about a Rorschach test? What? You're gonna lock me up in a shack? With a lion? No, no, not a it's Rorschach. An game with cars. Oh, a card game. <laughs> Fine with me, but don't get your hopes up. I always win at cards because I'm the coolest guy there is. <laughs> Much more so than my father, yeah, for example. Uh, if you say so, let's get started then. Penis! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm ready. So, I mean, what yes, do you but. <laughs> in this picture. Ah, uh, that's a deer. Elysium majestically enthroned high above Deponia. Elysium taking off towards Utopia. That's me on Elysium together with Goal. Uh, Elysium, majestically enthroned high above Deponia. And that does not worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving the order to blow up Deponia, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do I know them? Yeah. <laughs> I started them. Uh, I see. Perhaps we should proceed with the next picture. I'm just I'm probably just gonna <laughs> death destruction a skull cute little birdie glitter elf butterfly I'm gonna go with the first answers huh, a cute little because I started with the first answers what? a birdie tweet 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 oh adorable uh, I see was that wrong in that case I would like to use my lifeline this I like to call a friend being right or wrong it's just that most people see something different in this picture. It's, it's a platypus Most of are death. Idiots. They wouldn't know a birdie if it crawled up their butt. Uh, I see. Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. <laughs> what do you see here? Yeah, mm, I haven't read them yet. That's that's definitely grandma. <laughs> That's me saving the world. I see a great hero myself. It's a picture on the front page is Man of the Year. That's That's me saving me the world. Saving the world. Please. Yeah, you gotta serious, throttle some. You? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. That's their masks. But, yeah. That's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no <laughs> therapy here for people like you. But there's plenty Maybe of drugs, right? Consult an exorcist right? <laughs> and please stay away from me. Far away. I need another therapy session. What? Again? Yes. Because I need drugs. Lots of them. 
now. Fine. Let's get it over with. Uh... So, I've got this friend. A friend. Uh-huh. I see. What's wrong with him? Well, I him. Don't know. He just lies around all day, doing nothing. And, according to you, what should he be doing? Well, something useful for a change, like... Saving the world, etc. Saving the world? Don't you think that's asking a bit much of a single person? Of course, it's practically impossible. But that didn't stop us before. We had many narrow escapes. But now, of all times, so close to victory, boom, count me out, nothing doing. Well, I can understand your friend Fred. pretty well. He's under enormous pressure and probably scared. Yes, naturally. That sounds like him. Black beard on the outside, yellow liver on the inside. <laughs> and quite rightfully so, don't you think? Save the world. That's a huge responsibility. You gotta save he a cheerleader. Split himself in three she gotta after do. All. Exactly. Unlike me. <laughs> As you say, he... Uh, uh, Say what? Yeah, I was feeling pretty down myself when there was only one of me. Whoa! <laughs> Let's take this slowly. Actually, that was mainly because of this stressful resurrection business. And, of course, the fact that I had killed my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I see. One thing at a time. <laughs> Why uh, don't you just tell me a little bit about uh, yourself? I often have the feeling I don't belong, I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be, racked with guilt, plagued by fears of failure, I was dead. I can tell you about my childhood. Uh... Huh. I'm That's me in a nutshell. Fears of failure. There's so <laughs> much left to do, and so little time. Even splitting myself in three doesn't seem enough. But you still seem pretty relaxed to me. Oh, you thought I was talking about myself. <laughs> no way. I'm super cool. I was referring to the other two me's. I'm afraid <laughs> this is getting a little too cryptic for me. You appear to be under a lot of pressure. But sometimes the best solution is to simply give up. Would that really be the end of the world? We don't yes. play video Are games to give up, to okay? Me? Unless it's hack and slash, then you just, just give up. Don't don't play that game. Uh... I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be. I last saw him yesterday. When I brushed my teeth. In the mirror. Uh, right. And well, through so the mirror. Terrible about him? Well, you know, Gold's ex fiance is an Elysian. A real sleaze bag. And you feel compelled to take over his role? Yeah, that's the plan, yes. And naturally, that makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I hate this role. You are tired of having to pretend. Yes, exactly. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Your use of complex metaphors to describe your inner turmoil is truly remarkable. Yeah, I, what? Complex? <laughs> metaphors? But, but this isn't <laughs> about metaphors. I'm talking about my evil doppelganger. Uh, I see. Okay. I often have the feeling that I don't belong. Belong to what? You know, everything. Deponia. So you wish you were better integrated? Jeepers, no. Hell I heck no. <laughs> Elysium is where I belong. Unfortunately, getting there is harder than I thought. At least as long as I'm trying to prevent this planet from being blown apart. Uh, I see. I'm racked with guilt. Does that have anything to do with the factor that you, uh, killed your girlfriend isn't that what you told me earlier nah, no it's fine. I revived <laughs> no her. i'm worried about her going down the drain she's only a baby uh, <laughs> i see i killed a baby which was my girlfriend <laughs> i was dead you mean you had a near-death experience no i Doesn't died any nearer what was it like hmm. i got like squished a at first <laughs> then i remember a light and eventually i met my maker really Yes, his name is Hermes. Cool guy, actually. Too bad he had to kill himself over me. Uh, I see. 
I could tell you about my childhood. I'd like that, yes. My foster father was the mayor in our village. At first, he took me along to the city hall, but at some point, I wasn't allowed back in because I accidentally declared war on the Shrapnel Coast. Oh. After that, I was mostly locked up by myself at home. You didn't have a key? No, I was still very young. But then... <laughs> I had a lot of fire, four, though. I learned how to open those handcuffs using the <laughs> underwire from Grandpa's bra. Grandpa's bra. Uh, I see. Okay. Let's change the subject, shall we? Do you feel embarrassed when you disclose all these things about yourself? No, no. not at all. Why? <laughs> Quite the opposite. Well, you should. <laughs> Can we play that card game again? You mean you want to repeat the Rorschach test? All right. Why not? This time I'm going to win. I I'm going to win. So, what do you see in this picture? Elysium taking off towards Utopia. Well, we've already been through that. Something quite similar, at least. Next picture, then? What do you see here? Ah, uh, a lovely glitter elf. So you really don't see anything else here? But that is something completely different. Yes, true, but... Uh, no matter. Let's move on. What do you see here? I see a great hero. Myself. So you really don't see anything else here? But that is something completely different. Yes, true, but... Uh, no matter. Right, that's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. And please stay away from me. Far away. Locked, right? Hands off. Okay. The antidepressants are for patients who are not beyond hope. Huh. I need another therapy. <sighs> what? Uh, fine. Can we play that Go through the third again? one. If that doesn't work, I'll the stop. Test? I don't know. Right. This time... So, that's, well, something quite the next pic. What do you see? A gorgeous butterfly. So you really don't, but that is, yeah, uh, let's move. Still the same. What do you see here? Ah, that's my picture on the front page. As man of the year. So you really... But that... Yeah. Still goofing off here. Right. That if you prefer... But I... In that there is... And please... I need another... What? Last Again? one. I'm gonna see... <sighs> Can we... You mean you... Alright. This time... I... So. I'm tired of this game. Suit yourself. Come back when well, that didn't help me out. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna what? hit the prescription one, even though that's probably not gonna help me. Can't you just write me a prescription of some kind? Oh, really? All this is taking much too long. While we're chewing the fat here, part of me is already halfway to Elysium, while the other part is still roaming the sewers. Bravo! That was a very figurative and extremely precise piece of self-analysis. You are making enormous progress. The last thing I want to do now is put you on medication. Damn! Oh, rats, rats, rats! Ah. Uh. Ah, this is just a waste of time. I'm out of here. Well, I can't force you to stay. The restraints are at the cleaners. <laughs> Come back when you're ready to take these sessions seriously. All right, well. <sighs> Talk to this guy. Mm. Yoo-hoo! Good day to you, sir. <laughs> Would you like to buy a rope? We have exactly the right rope for every neck. Hmm. What are the financing options? 
Oh, a man with gallows humor. I like that. But we only accept cash unless, of course, you're participating in our rebate campaign. With 30 points, you get a toaster with a fixture for the bathtub. Oh. Uh, I don't really know. I think I'll take a look around first. Of course. Take your time. And don't hesitate to ask if you need any help trying something on. Samples. Mmm. Velvety. It <laughs> flatters the neck. Mm. <gasps> Two ropes for the price of one. Sis. Moe's therapeutic ropes. Mo. The cheaper alternative. <laughs> well, will you look at that? Apparently, the knot will be worn more to the left in the upcoming season. <laughs> ah, I see you are interested in our flyer. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. Excellent. You'll find all the important information on our products in there. There's even a small preview of the upcoming winter fashions on the back. If you are subject to winter depression, you should act now. Oh, Many God. models are out of stock during the holidays. Um, what are you doing? I'm making a paper airplane. What else? But my beautiful flyer! Well, we'll you can make more! In the test flight. Classy. I bet they'd look good on goal. Um, Moe's therapeutic ropes, the cheaper alternative. Can't mess with this one. Paper airplane. Yes, that would be the perfect distance for a maiden flight. On the other hand, the information in there could make somebody's life a lot easier. And I doubt that he, of all people, is ready to be helped. It's true what they say. Doctors make the worst patients. <laughs> I'll certainly keep that idea in the back of my mind. Hmm. Finger focus? <laughs> what am I doing with all this? If my name were Urkel, I could stamp Urko. my initials all over the place now. Too bad. Huh. Maybe I could build a platypus net again. But I hate to repeat myself. I hate it, I hate it, I hate <laughs> it. Repeating myself. Me too, buddy. Maybe I could build, but I hate, I hate. Radio killed the print media star. In my house and in my car. Hmm. Are these all this? Okay, yeah, they are. Editors. Rope therapist. At least I don't have to come back out here each time. Maybe the Urko? It could be their symbol? I don't know. I don't know why. That was worth a shot. I found the right design for your unit. An irk? What's that supposed to stand for? For something irksome. That's written with an I, like intensive care. Darn. Hmm. I don't want to do this. Do I have to give the rope to Bozo? Uh, I mean, it's, a, it's not going to let me use the, uh... Well, maybe. <laughs> I was just going to throw it <laughs> into his room. The fastest way is usually the best. But in this case, I'm not sure about that. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. Hey, Bozo, say, Urk. Mm. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> hmm. There's more stuff to do, and I'm not sure how to do it. May I bother you for a moment? Huh? No. Oh, look, Mook! It's Baby Bozo! Nonsense, woman! That's not Baby Bozo! It's just a stray hobo! Is it now? So why do I think it's Baby Bozo? Because your glasses are messed up. Excuse me, I hate to interrupt you, but, uh... I'm not a hobo. What are you doing here in the middle of a war zone? Have you lived next to the bozos for a long time? Do you know what's up with bozo? Yeah, I'm looking for the resistance camp. Do you even get what I'm saying? Oh, just forget it. 
Uh, bop. Do you know what's up with Bozo? Oh, so you're a friend of Bozo's? Yes. Nonsense, woman. Bozo would never be friends with some random hobo. That's because, unlike you, he has a handful of brain cells left. Even if he doesn't act a part at the moment. He's depressed, Mook. Oh, of course he is. He's got no job, no girlfriend. The world is coming to an end. He does so have a girlfriend. <laughs> Her name is Bambina, and she lives in the floating black market. If she contradicts him as often as you do to me, <laughs> I can surely understand why he moved back in with his folks. <sighs> have you lived next to the bozos for a long time? Why? Isn't this one good enough for you? It may have suffered a little grenade damage here and there, but it's still our home. Calm yourself, Mook. He's asking about the bozos. Well, in that case, he's wrong here. They live next door. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> ah, just forget it. This is too crazy, even for me. I'm leaving. You know, I think you were right, Milk. <laughs> he was a hobo after all. Oh, That's yeah. what I said, woman. But you never listen to me. <laughs> Can't go to the bathroom here. Ugh. Question mark? Let's see whether I can feel something. Uh huh. There's a crevice in the rock. Here we go. <laughs> Yikes! Not so loud, Gold! You'll wake up the dangerous beast! This is, uh... What? A pacifier? Yes! At least, it feels like a pacifier. Somewhat drooly. And, uh, well, pacifier-shaped. If I can't grab it? Here we go! Okay. Pacifier. Goal. There. <laughs> I should shut her up for now. Will you be quiet now? Good. Finally, silence. There's something growing there. Some kind of moss or brush. Here we go. <clears throat> I got it. Watch, it's just a... That's a mat of hair. What do you think of this, goalie? Now you're speechless, huh? There, the kindling is stuck in the crevice. And now? Hmm, gotta find something to light it. There was something up here. Hmm, this is dry, long, and thin. No doubt about it. It's the plot of Secret Files Tunguska. <laughs> Or a low-hanging branch. Either one. Here we go. <gasps> ha! Got it! Is that a branch? Like, is that really a branch? Hey, sure! I can light a fire this way. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Success! <laughs> is there anything I can't set on fire? Say something, Goal. <laughs> I Goal. put a fire uh. in this monster's butt. <laughs> Hello, tiny baby goal. Goodbye, tiny baby goal. <laughs> Aww. Kaploosh. Babble prattle. Very funny. Just so you know, that was all part of the plan. And anyway, we have more important things to do now. We have to find that what's it acid and, and turn you back into a real person. Okay. Darkness. I think I've come to a good stopping point for now because oh, there's so much to do here. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you very much for joining me. Check out annotations for other videos that I've done. Like, subscribe, comment, and all the other fun stuff in the YouTubes down there. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video when my freckly face is out of here. Bye!